All right, you've got 10 minutes and you want stronger hips, more mobile hips. Well, I've got a 10 minute follow along workout that requires no equipment. It's going to work your outer hips. It's gonna work your inner thighs muscles you've never worked before. Here we go. Let's work our inner thighs, our outer hips and get our bodies feeling good. So we're gonna come down onto the floor. Bring your knees towards your chest around 90 degrees. Plant this foot, bring this left leg forward. Now you're gonna lift the left leg up, plant it here. One, two, make sure you feel your abs engaged. You're gonna feel these muscles here. Three, four, five, feel those inner thighs working. And six. Yeah, good. Then before we move, bend this knee, right leg extended, and then we're gonna lift this right leg up. One. Two. You should feel butt muscles firing here. You should feel it all around kind of the seam of your pants. Three. Four. Take your time. Try to get it nice and high. Five. And. Six. Whew, good. Should feel that burn. Now, you're gonna flip. Move however you need to. All right, so. Right leg forward, left leg just planted. However, makes you comfortable. Lift that right leg. One. Feel those thigh muscles. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Six, good. Bend right, extend left, and lift. One. Two. See if we can get nice and high. Three. You don't want to be throwing yourself back though. Don't cheat. Feel the butt muscles, side butt muscles. Five. And last one. I think six. What you don't know is I'm terrible at counting and talking. So I might get the count wrong at some point. Boom. Done. Now back to the other side, left side down. This time. Right foot's gonna go in front of you. I like planting it like this. You might wanna have it more in front of you. You might put a yoga block in front of you to make it feel more stable. Whatever works for you is fine. Get stable with this right leg. Left leg is gonna be in line with the rest of my body. It's going like that. Right hand planted. I'm gonna lift that left leg up toward the ceiling, feeling the left inner thigh firing. That's uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. All right. Then bring the left knee towards the chest, right leg down so it's in line with the body. And it's going up. Eins. Zwei. Drei.
fear. Oomph. Feel those outer hip muscles there. Six. Feel that? Yeah, you feel that? Good. And lower it back down. And to the other side. So, right leg straight. Left leg planted in front of you or on a block, cushion, whatever. Right leg is basically in line with your body as best as you can get it. And we're going up. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. One more. Rook. And relax. Have you ever tried to count in different languages while thinking about what you're doing? Because it's a little confusing. All right, so now left leg like so, right leg in front of you, feeling for the outer hips. I think I'm out of languages. Oh, no, wait. E. Make sure you feel this. Keep trying to get it up there. Sun. Feel those outer hip muscles firing. Get it up as high as you can get it without cheating. Make sure it's all about that side of your hip. I think I did sun. So, uh, sure. Yeah. Make sure the abs are still engaged. <laughs> I forgot for a second, but I remember. And then last one. Leo. All right. We've just covered so many languages and we've worked our hips. Boom. All right. So now I'm going to get up. Take your time. I'll wait for you. I'm still waiting for you. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, good. So feet. They're hip width, shoulder width, whatever is comfortable for you is fine. <clears throat> You're gonna put your hands behind your head, like so. You're gonna keep your spine as straight as you can keep it. And you are going to bend at the hips, keeping weight in the balls of your feet as you go down. So don't let your toes lift off. Keep weight forward. If you can't go as low as you see me doing, that's fine. That's one, slowly back up. Use your hamstrings, use your back, but really feel the stretch coming in here and using those muscles to bring you back up. All right, hands behind your head, ready? I'm gonna do this two more times, here we go. Take your time. Nice and slow, only as far as you can go with a straight spine, still keeping some weight in the balls of your feet. You can even lightly grip with your toes. Keep breathing. This should feel like an active position. You're not just trying to relax everything. You are trying to feel firmly connected to the floor. Grab that floor a little with your toes, feel weight in the balls of your feet, and then Bring yourself up, use those hamstrings to lift yourself up. A little bit of back, but not a ton, but use those hamstrings for sure. Whew, take some breaths. Breathing through your nose is generally better for you. And then, here we go. Feel the weight bringing you further down 
this weight of your head and hands brings you down, stretches your hammies. And then you use those hammies to pull yourself up. Here we go. Did that feel good? That felt really good, right? It's not just me. All right, that's it for the workout. If you want to do it again, I invite you to just rewind, go back to the beginning and go through it. Get those outer hips and those inner thighs fired up so you feel stronger and more stable and then your hinge feels awesome. A simple way to really improve your mental health is to get cooking, make your own food. It's also good for your physical health. It teaches you how to focus, teaches you how to sequence stuff and just gets your mind off of the internet. So, you know, that's good for you. I'm curious to know what you're going to use this hip strength for. Are you going to go play a sport? What are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with it? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what other workouts you'd like to see. I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health and I'm asking you to subscribe, share this with other people. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. <laughs>